The idea of, behind transpersonal psychology was to create a psychology that would cover the whole spectrum of human experience, including uh, spiritual experiencing. So, um, of these people, and you've seen so many, do you have any idea of the prevalence of spiritual emergency versus um, ordinary psychosis? I think myself it's a very large group. Uh, I, I don't have the emergency. spiritual emergency. I don't have the per percentage, yeah. but it's a, it's a very large group, and I believe that it's growing. And uh, the reason for it, uh, the, the way I see it, is that uh, you see there is a, a kind of a reciprocal uh, relationship between how much energy you put uh, into your self-exploration and how much you put into your uh, acquisition of, of external things. So to the point to which you have a lot of uh, hope, a kind of a, uh, you know, exciting vision, American dream, you, you're going to get a house and, you know, a, a bigger car and, and a better position and so on. You're being drawn from your, from your unconscious into the external world. Now, when it starts collapsing, you know, on a, can happen in your personal life, the, your relationship uh, collapses, you lose your job, or it happens on a large scale, like what we saw happening economically. People lose the perspective, they lose the hope that somehow something better will be uh, happening in the future and they are sort of thrown back on their own unconscious and they start sort of experiencing the, basically uh, the, you know, what's happening in the inner world, uh, which uh, is a problem but it could, could also be a, a tremendous opportunity. You know, unfortunately uh, People uh, who are in this spiritual emergency and uh, would have a chance to transform in a species that would have much better chance to survive, those are seen as the sick ones. They get the, the labels, they get the, you know, the tranquilizers. As far as the inner healing uh, intelligence is, is considered, we recognize it in the physical realm, but we don't have that concept of the in the uh, the psyche having a self-healing uh, intelligence It'd be like uh, you know somebody uh, coming with a fever to the hospital we say what do we do well put him on ice you know and you'll see the temperature going down and you'll be very happy how much you help you don't you're not asking the question why the fever was there and so when I was a beginning psychiatrist there was still kind of a two schools, there was the uncovering and the, the covering. The covering was you use just suppression of symptoms. The uncovering was you do something, some process, psychotherapeutic process, depth psychology and so on, trying to go to uh, the core, to the, to the underlying reason. And now what we see more and more, for a variety of reasons, uh, uh, not the least of which is the influence of the pharmaceutical companies. You see more and more shift towards the, trying to solve everything with this uh, suppression of symptoms. It's something that gets mobilized in those states that I call holotropic. States uh, that are part of the shamanic initiatory crisis or the kind of states that they induce in their clients. Uh, the kind of states of consciousness that you see in rites of passage of, uh, of various native cultures, uh, the kinds of states that the initiates experience in the mysteries of death and rebirth, uh, the states that uh, the yogis experience, the Buddhists, the Taoists, the, the, the Kabbalists, the Christian mystics, and so on. So all those have, have that potential, I mean, uh, you know, to to bring about uh, emotional and psychosomatic healing. Uh, and we, we don't really uh, sort of recognize that. You know, we have actually pathologized all uh, non-ordinary states and even outlawed some of the contexts or some of the, some of the means in which people could ho have those experiences rather than supporting them. Uh, I believe, like many people in the transpersonal circles, that. Uh, the problems that we see in the world uh, are just symptoms uh, that uh, 
they have one common denominator, which is the, the level of consciousness evolution of the human species, and that we probably cannot solve the crisis without some really significant inner uh, transformation. And we know that the, mean, the means are available, I mean, that the transformation is possible. Now, whether it's going to happen soon enough and on a large enough scale, you know, that's another thing.